What's up everyone? Today is Monday, November 30th at 8, 10 a.m. Gonna do a video of watches today. Got rid of my beard finally. I uh, needed some change in my life. This quarantine stuff is kind of getting me to go crazy. All I do is sit home and work and it's just kind of making me go nuts. So I needed some change in my life. So this is me without a beard. So let's get started. Um, W-O-R-X. So this is a low-hanging fruit. This is a sock. A stock that ran on Friday that is tanking today. So in a perfect world, we're looking for a bounce towards like 210s, 220s, 230s. So basically, we're just looking to short the bounce on this broken stock. Uh, ORMP. This stock is broken pre-market. But we've seen plenty of times that stocks that are this broken just somehow get a rush of volume into the open and then they just shoot up. So on something like this, I'm basically just waiting for it to kind of push towards 6, 630, 650, basically just looking for it push towards VWAP somewhere so I could short it. There's no way I want to be shorting it here. It's already down from $8. So people that are shorting here are probably going to get squeezed at the open. So basically just waiting for an opening bounce. SPCB uh, top is set so far around 178, 180. So either we get a breakdown under VWAP and look to short pops towards 170 or we short this morning bounce with a stop around pre-market highs. This one doesn't really have much range. It's not really too exciting. So basically just gonna let it do its thing until uh, we get some sort of death candle or some sort of confirmation. So basically we're just waiting for these to tank and then following their trends um, to the downside. Uh, SNSS this is a potential hot chick of the day, but what I see here is I see a potential death line at 205. So either A, if you're short, stop out above 240 or uh, look to add under 205 on that confirmation. Uh, give me a second. Um, IGC is another one. IGC, this is a weed stock that's kind of running, that's kind of going a little bit crazy. Uh, again, nothing that I am in love with so far. So if we get a pop towards 240s, 250s, I would stop out above 260. Um, what else is there? PLTR. PLTR, this was a Citron Research uh, hit piece. They came out uh, somewhere here or somewhere here, I forget. Uh, basically, what I'm looking for, this one's probably going to be crowded short, so I'm basically just looking for the outer line somewhere. 29.50s might be okay, but I like the 30 whole dollar mark better. Again, this is not something I'm in love with. This is not something that is too sexy for me. Um, just kind of want to put it on there in case someone else is interested. And last but not least, um, Nicola. So this is just one that I kind of top ticked over here. I have it in a another account but basically uh, not really in love with this this is just like if we get a pop like up to here 32s or something this is a very very crowded short and there is a lockup uh, coming up so that means that the insiders could sell so this is probably a pump before their dump um, that's about it guys so um, I will be doing a YouTube live at 11 o'clock today we have a really cool cyber Monday promotion um, actually I mean like I don't really want to do this, but for the people that are watching the video, watch us. If you go to myinvestingclub.com slash Black Friday, uh, our Black Friday sale is still live until the end of today. This means that you can get three days inside MIC for free. I'm just going to kind of keep this in here for all the people that um, might have missed or all the people that are loyal enough to watch this video, watch us. So I'll see you guys in the room and comment beard to let me know that you guys watched this video to the end. So I'll see you guys. Thank you.